the Lord glory be to Jesus good day brothers and sisters in Christ hallelujah the Lord is good 2022 our year of uncommon grace I pray that this year you will walk in the grace of God you will walk under the uncommon grace of God let me quickly start by saying what Ever opportunity you have lost in the past that will have advanced you I decree and I declare this year by the uncommon grace of God it shall be restored such opportunities shall be restored the Lord is speaking to someone watching me you lost an opportunity that will have placed you in a very high position by the internal grace of God this year 2022 it shall be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God never forget always remember that with God is not about age it's not about title it's not about gender it's not about color it's about grace it's about grace it's not of him that will it it's not of him that run it. It's of God that showeth mercy. It's of God that gives grace. No one ever become great without grace. It's the grace of God that makes great. I decree and I declare 2022 in the face of challenges, in the face of disaster, you will be exempted. You will be exempted. Why others are dishonored, you will be honored and promoted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because you are walking in the uncommon grace of God. May God this year distinguish you by his grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where the enemy have designed shame to be, God will replace it with honor. And for every trouble, double honor, double grace, double promotion. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Please lift up your hands. I want us to pray this prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, every opportunity that I have lost, that will have advanced me this year, 2022, by the uncommon grace of God, it is restored unto me. It is restored unto me. It is restored unto me. This is a word given to me in the place of prayer for someone listening to me today. God say, get ready for restoration of divine opportunity that will advance you, that will promote you. Clap your hands and turn it to prayer. 
Manto zagado jegina agalugra bani adigena andia. Clap your hands and turn it to prayer. Nekopo tegeziga la andia. E pronde ligdi wahagada. Opportunities that you have lost that will advance you. This year it is restored. It is restored spiritually, physically, materially. It is restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Look at Genesis 24 and verse 1. Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1. Glory to God. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed abraham in how many things in all things and the lord had blessed abraham in all things i want you by faith to put your name there and the lord had blessed adam in all things it's my prayer that this year the lord will bless you in all ways and in all things in the mighty name of jesus christ spiritually i decree you shall be blessed materially i decree you shall be blessed financially i decree you shall be blessed by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ lift your hands say my father my helper 2022 increase me and bless me in all things increase me and bless me in all things friends the year is still very young we are speaking into the womb of this year i like you to decree and declare clap your hands and turn it to prayer there is someone watching me you are a man you are working in a place without salary because there is no money to pay staffs there. And you are thinking of quitting. The Lord said, I should tell you, as we're praying this prayer, I receive this word of knowledge. Do not quit. Remain in that place. Compensation is coming for you, says the Lord. I don't know for how long you have been working there with that salary, but I hear you are working with that salary. Compensation is coming for you. And when it comes, remember to give your testimony to the praise of his holy name. I decree answer in your place of work i decree answer in your place of work in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of god genesis 22 and verse 17 marco toleba this year 2022 i decree and i declare you will possess the gates of your enemy you will possess the gates of your enemy to possess means to take over to possess means to take control to possess means to occupy 2022 you will possess you will occupy you will take over the gates of those that dislike you and hate you in the mighty name of jesus christ those places where they do not want to see you rise where they do not want to see you honored where they do not want to see you elevated this year 2022 by the uncommon grace of god you will take over you will take over you will take over i'm talking to you my sister watching me i'm talking to you businessman i'm talking to you student by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, you will take over, you will occupy this year in the face of challenges and disaster. Look at this scripture, Genesis 22 verse 17 that in blessing I will bless thee in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. Look at the New Living Translation, please. Marco Tolimena Angradili Wahajia. I will certainly bless you. Child of God, shout amen. Shout amen. There will be challenges, yes. There will be trials, yes. But in the midst of the challenges and the trial, child of God, the Lord will bless you. And remember, the blessings of the Lord, they make rich and they add no sorrow. Don't quit, child of God. I'm speaking to you, don't quit. You've been trying that business and every attempt you make is like it's failing. It's failing. Don't quit. You are not a failure. No child of God is a failure. And by the way, failure, like I've often said, is not a person, it's an event. The Lord said, try again. 
cast your net where you have failed. Launch your net into the deep. Peter said, Master, nevertheless at thy word. I want you to take God's word that because the Lord is saying to you this day, go back and try where you have failed. You will see success in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendant beyond number. May God make your city this year like a city without a wall. You will spread by the right, you will spread by the left, you will spread in front, you will spread behind. By the message of God, all for the sake of the kingdom, so that you can establish God's will here on earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. A kapodina azukledia, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore, your descendant will conquer the cities of their enemies. Brethren, for long, there are gates that have been controlled by those who don't know God, like the gates of media, the gates of financial institution, the gates of um, transportation. But the Lord is saying this year, because the coming of the Lord is at hand, there will be strange supernatural takeovers. And it wouldn't be for everyone. For those whom God has seen their heart, because their heart is committed to advance the cause of the kingdom, God is going to put these breakthroughs in their hand. So I'd like you to get prepared to start taking over certain gates. There are things that must be taken over, controlled by children of God. We need Christian media stations where things we watch and we hear glorify the name of Jesus, where our children will be able to watch things and follow things that glorify the name of Jesus. We need Christians to take over financial institutions where there will be banks that we stand to represent the cause of the kingdom of God. And child of God, you listening to me, someone is watching me, the hand of God is coming upon you. The common grace of God is going to lift you in a very unusual way this year open your hand say in the name of Jesus 2022 I decree and I declare I am taking over I am taking over mention that area you are taking over spiritually physically materially turn it to prayer turn it to prayer child of God clap your hands Randa, Nazugle de Ligradia, Maka Totole Begia, Maka Totole Bebe Goligadaya, Makoto Cotelia, in Jesus' mighty name. You are watching me, people die in your family from gunshot, either by suicide or by crime, but people die by gunshot. It's coming for you. But the Lord says, I should stand with you. You know who, you know yourself. Please get in touch with me with the number on the screen. But the Lord says, I should stand with you for your family. I stop that power of hell that have been killing people in your family by gunshot. We resist the wicked and his plan against you and your family. The agenda of the enemy we cancel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a daughter of God watching me. Begin to build your own content because children of God are being raised by God specially to take over gates. You go to the media, you go, you find young people who do not know God posting things that do not glorify God and they have millions of followers who are being led astray from the path of God. I wouldn't want to measure anything on air, but I am challenging you. You've been receiving an input of the Spirit of God to post there positive things, things that glorify the name of Jesus. Why people like you, we watch and say, if she can, if he can serve the Lord, I can. God said 2022, there is a taking over for certain children of his. And I believe you are watching me. Receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your hand. Say 2022, I possess my possession. I possess my possession. I take over. I occupy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it to prayer. Father, we thank you for Jesus mighty name deuteronomy 11 and verse 23 friends please get ready 
you don't make progress without confrontation what you don't confront you cannot conquer please don't be afraid i am talking to you i'm encouraging you in the name of jesus the year is already on the move and you are waiting there is no more need to wait god says i should tell you child of god no those who are afraid to take the risk of faith never achieve anything in the journey of life i say it again those who are afraid to take the risk of faith never accomplish anything in the journey of life taking faith is a risk friends and nothing move until you move nothing move until you move it's time to move remember faith is stepping out of nothing into something stop waiting for everything before you start something stop waiting for everything before you start something start with the little that you have and small is much when grace is involved in it remember it is the grace of god that makes great i'm encouraging you watching me you want to start business you want to start ministry you want to start that program go ahead in the mighty name of jesus you want to take the step of it to make decisions that consigns your life positively go ahead in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of god don't be afraid of confrontation if you can't confront you can't conquer remember there is no promised land that is empty every promised land is already occupied with giants but the giants may be on the way to hinder but the lord will surely we surely not may the lord will surely give us victory i release you into this year go and possess your possession in the name of jesus christ stop waiting you have waited enough arise and shine for your light has come enter that place take that thing look at abraham god said to him wake up go he didn't know where he was going to to the land of the unknown but abraham trusted god with his life he arrived he took that step of faith and toli kalahandia and today is the father of faith to the glory of god arise child of god god with you is all you need move and see the hand of god at work give you the success that you desire this year in the midst of all the challenges and the trial you are exempted receive these words of the lord in jesus mighty name hallelujah glory be to god don't be afraid like we've heard often there is no star without scars every star has scars on their body to show every champion has stories of challenges to tell i have my quantums of them hallelujah glory to god just don't look at a man's glory and envy his glory seek to hear his story until you know a man's story you will not appreciate his glory most times people look at certain people and they talk because they do not know the sacrifice, the prizes that were paid for them to be where they are and where they are going to. Friends, it's not easy. You will be rejected. There are battles you will fight. There are things you will lose. There are friends you will lose. There are people you will lose. If you want to be friends with everyone, you will never achieve your goal in life. You will never get to your destination. Remember, the bottom is always overcrowded. If you seek to go up in life, there are very few people that you will meet going up. That is why when you are going on top, the less the people around you. When you are moving up, the less the people around you. Don't be discouraged. This is a new year, 2022. There are numbers you must delete from your phone. There are names you must delete from your path. There are people you must delete from your journey on earth. Yes, you used to be friends 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, but not anymore. Where God is taking you to is not where they are going to. Your direction is not theirs amen somebody joining with people not going to where you are going to you might never get to where you are supposed to go to get to may god grant you understanding in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god deuteronomy 11 verse 23 look at this then will the lord drive out then will the lord drive out all these nations from before you and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourself <sighs> if you are looking for anything that god is involved in get ready it will not be smaller than you it will not be your size it will always be mightier than you anything that god is involved in that god will ask you to do when you see it you will say to yourself why me the kind of person god will lead you to whether for marriage or for business or for career whatever it will scare you you will say god small me why me 
that is God. Everything that has the hand of God in it will always be mightier and greater than you. Look at the New Living Translation. Deuteronomy 11 and verse 23. Hallelujah. Then the Lord will drive out all the nations ahead of you. This year, Jehovah God has gone ahead of you. Spiritually, financially, materially. Though they are much greater and stronger than you, and you will take over their land. That's why I say to possess means to take over, to occupy, to control. They are greater, they are bigger. God is driving them out, but not driving them as physically appeared as God. He's going to drive them out through you. So there are battles you will fight. But grace is available for you. Open your hand. Say, my father, my helper. Grace to pursue, to overtake and recover this year. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Makato katele kladushkaya le krandolo brahandia mesuka dianta makato to lebenia rekete lebenia ekoto le minasata rakate tele kojia akaponde yaga le kredina sakunta ya le jaju kredina grace to pursue, overtake and recover. I receive it. I speak to that man called Stephen. Your problem is from that one whom you confided in who you have told everything about. And I see a lot of people in this category of knowledge, word of knowledge, men and women. The devil that is fighting you is that which you have told everything about yourself. You are angry, you are wondering where is my problem coming from because you are losing almost everything. The Lord says to encourage you, arise and shine for your light has come, but delete those people away from you. You know the answer. The people that you told everything, God, grant you wisdom and mercy in jesus mighty name last prayer before the word briefly this day hebrews chapter 11 and verse 13 hallelujah hebrews 11 13 i love this scripture i'd like you to look at this very well and see how the children of israel believe the word of god that they despise their present situation their present predicament and by faith in that which God has promised them, they saw themselves where they are as pilgrimage, as strangers, and they look beyond where they were to that place which God has destined for them. Hallelujah. He said, this all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. How did they see it? Not with their physical eyes, but with their faith eyes, their trust, and their belief in the word of God. Can you see the promises of God for you this year, 2022? Can you see all that God has promised you? Can you look beyond the pandemic? Can you look beyond the, mis the uncertainties? Can you look beyond the challenges and the trials that is blowing across 2022 that we yet blow this year? If Jesus started, may God keep us and spare us by his mercy. Can you look beyond it? The Bible says, haven't seen them afar off and we are persuaded how were they persuaded? By what they were able to see. So what keep us going? What keep us standing? What keep us singing hallelujah in the face of trials and challenges people do not understand? It's not what we are going through. It's not our situation. It's not where we are or what we are faced with. But what we can see at the end of our journey. The promises that Jehovah God has made us. Shout amen, child of God. Type amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The promises that God has made us. That is why you need to know the word for yourself. You need to hold on to the promises of God. The devil is a liar and Satan reminds you of your situation. He tells you you are a failure. He tells you to give up. He tells you it's not possible. Look at your life. Say no, Satan, you are a liar. Look at the promises of God. This all died in faith. Not having received the promises. But having seen them afar off, and we are persuaded of them, and embraced them, they embraced it, and confessed, Friends, when you believe God, two things will change. The way you talk, and the way you look. When I mean look, your physical eyes. If your confession is in doubt and unbelief, it's a sign you do not have faith, because faith talks, faith speaks and embrace them and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on earth. 
the promises of God was so real to them that they look at where they are and they say, after all, we are strangers here because there are better things coming ahead of us. Friends, they saw God's promises as permanent and saw their situations as temporal. I say it again. They saw the promises of God as permanent and they saw their situation as temporal. Your expectation should change the way you see things and the way you talk. Don't be talking negatively. I'm going to die. I'm giving up. I'm tired. Nothing is going to work. It shows that you are not seeing anything that God has promised you. When you see the things God has promised you, the way you see and the way you talk will change. It shows that you are expecting something from God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And remember the Bible says their expectation shall not be cut off. So you need to open your mouth now and make declarations for 2022 before we go to the word of God. Open your hands, child of God. Say, I decree and declare 2022 is my year of uncommon grace. Begin to mention the things that uncommon grace will do for you this year. Begin to mention the things that uncommon grace will deliver to you this year. Spiritually, physically, materially. Clap your hands like this man of old who died in faith. I prefer to die in faith than to die in doubt and unbelief. Stand upon the word of the living God. Your grandmother has been appearing to you in the dream. This is not a joke. Your late grandmother has been appearing to you in the dream, asking you to come and eat with her. Bread, child of God, any invitation from the spirit of death, I reject it for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and that sickness in the body, I cause it out of your body. Out of your body. Out of your body. In the eternal name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Brethren, last Sunday, we were able to establish that uncommon grace is the secret. There is no other way. Is the secret behind, behind every form of unusual and uncommon advancement results in the journey of life. If you truly desire unusual advancement, unusual results in the face of disaster and famine, embrace the uncommon grace of God. That when others are wailing, when others are sinking, when others are crying, you are celebrating not for their own downfall, you are celebrating because you are succeeding. What will make that happen? The uncommon grace of God. And that is why God promised us this year as a year of uncommon grace, because there will be challenges, there will be trials, but in the midst of these challenges and trials, child of God, you will be advancing, you will be progressing in Jesus' mighty name. Uncommon grace is God displaying his unusual favor upon you in the midst of the crowd. God picking you out of the crowd. Picking you out of the crowd. And that is why people will gossip you. They will talk about you because they can't understand why. They were there with you from the same community. In fact, your family has no name. But by God's mercy, just like he did for Mary, picked her out and said, Blessed are thou. So will it be for you this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And we saw that this uncommon grace of God is undeserved, is unmerited. You cannot work for it. No, you can't work for it. You can't bribe God. You can't impress God to get it. We don't merit it. We don't deserve it. God has freely given it to us. But God expects us to grow in it. Hear me, child of God. Grace is a free gift from God. And grace is Jesus. But God expects us to grow in it. 
Look at John chapter 1 and verse 17. John chapter 1 and verse 17. John chapter 1 and verse 17. Glory to God. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So Jesus is the grace of God. You just need to embrace it. God has given us this uncommon grace, but God expects us to grow in grace to the point where it becomes uncommon, unusual. And that is why instead of getting angry with someone, and looking at them and say why but i can't see the effect of the the impact of their work but yes you can't deny their result is grace at work there are factors that will enable you to grow in grace and you begin to swim in the flow of the grace of god child of god as i put one or two of these keys in your hand today and i'll continue next sunday i pray that you give attention to it so that you can grow in grace. Grace is free from God, but God expects you to grow in grace. I decree that you shall swim this year in the uncommon grace of God. And friends, the higher the grace in you, the higher the unusual results around you. The higher the grace in you, the higher the unusual answers around you. The higher the grace in you, the higher the unusual manifestation around you. What others will labor and labor and labor for to succeed in. Just one step from you, it works. People can tell that is the secret behind some of us. I am a product of God's grace and mercy. Hallelujah. That somebody is angry, but they, hey, they don't pray the way I pray. They don't fast the way. No, it's not of works. It's of the grace of God. Obviously, number one is salvation because if you are not saved, you don't even have grace in the first place. Like we have seen, grace is Jesus Christ. And salvation is you embracing the grace of God, embracing the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't beg for it. You don't cry for it. Just receive it. Ask Jesus into your heart and embrace him. You have grace then when you have grace god expects you now to grow in it so if you are not saved you can't be talking about growing in grace if you are not saved you can't be talking about multiplying in grace if you are not saved you are not born again you've not accepted jesus as your lord and your personal savior you can't be talking about multiplying grace you must be saved first hallelujah so salvation is number one look at galatians chapter 5 verse 20 to 22 galatians 5 20 to 22 and then i show you one other key and i close for today galatians 5 20 to 22 idolatry witchcraft hatred veracity emulation wrath strife sedition heresy verse 21 mark envy murder drunkenness reveling and such like of this which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the past, that they which do such thing shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Look at verse 22. Glory to God. He said, but the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Salvation is the false key. As you can see, the fruit of the Spirit when you are saved is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. And these are all fruits and manifestation of grace. Hallelujah. At this point, if you are watching me, or you're privileged to be listening to me and you're not born again, I'd like you to ask Jesus into your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Save me, Lord. Thank you, Father, for saving me. If you've prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's number one, salvation. Number two is giving attention to the word of God. Giving attention to the word of God. Knowledge. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I have discovered from the scripture, when God wants to distinguish a man, when God wants to make a man look different, when God wants to set a man apart, he gives the man an instruction. He gives the man his word. And you can't until you go to study the word of God. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, unto the word of God, not just read the word, not just study the word, but observe, giving attention to the word of God and to do all his commandments, the word which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will distinguish you. The Lord thy God will set thee apart. The Lord thy God will set thee on high above all Cantalabana and Ziyadaba nations. Do you desire to be set apart this year? Do you desire to be distinguished this year? Do you desire to be set on top this year while others are struggling? While others are wailing and crying in the face of challenges and difficulty, do you desire to be set apart? Give attention to the word of God. Give attention to the word of God. Don't say, I don't care. If you want to walk in a common grace, you want to grow in grace, the word is a must. Give attention to the word of God. Child of God. Look at Matthew 7. Let's be fast now. Matthew 7, 24 to 25. Like I said, I will continue with the other keys next Sunday. Therefore, whosoever hear it, hear it these sayings of mine, and do it them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which build his house upon a rock, not just he that hear it. Many of us are in, good in hearing. We're interested in hearing. Like some of you are watching me now, but you are not jotting down anything. You need to jot down, friends. You need to meditate on it. You need to align your life every week with the word you receive on Sunday so that the word becomes your manual that governs you. Friends, if you do that, you can never fail in the journey of life because the Lord will set you apart. He will distinguish you. You will find yourself swimming and enjoying uncommon grace. Hallelujah. Grace is free, but God expects us to grow. And the number one factor outside salvation to grow in grace is giving attention to the word of God. Knowledge. Hallelujah. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, it's good to hear it and do it then. You have to hear and apply it to your life and do it. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Look at verse 25. Glory to God. And the rain descended as it will descend this year, child of God. There will be storms. There will be disasters. There will be economy meltdown. There will be strange outbreak of pandemics as we have already seen in the past two years. All of these challenges will come. And the floods came. Different kind of flood. Poverty, famine, recession. And the wind blew. Calamity, destruction, violent killing crashes and beat upon that house eh, in Lazantolia and it fell not for it was founded in Libra the Handia upon a rock which is the word of God please memorize these scriptures friends Matthew 7 24 25 whoever heareth these sayings of mine as you are hearing me now is God speaking to you as you study the word, is God speaking to you. And don't just listen to the word only on Sunday. I don't know where you're watching me from, from around the world. It could be morning, afternoon, evening from your place. Thus, take it to work. Play it in the car. Play it before you sleep. Hear it. The Bible says, and again Jesus said unto them. And again Jesus said, there are things you need to hear over and over. There are messages I play six times, ten times. There are messages of men I look up to. I play sometimes twenty times. Anyone who lies in God's name diminishes. It sinks into my spirit. Friends, when you do that, please, Matthew 7, 25, underline it in your Bible. The rain descended. I want you to look at the New Living Translation of Matthew 7, 25. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the wind beat against that house, you at that house, they're referring to you as that house. It will don't collapse because it is built on bedrock, which is what? The word of 
God. Glory to God. John 17 and from verse 16 to 17. John 17 verse 16 to 17. Hallelujah, child of God. Atoli bin hangra dili wahadia. They are not of this world. This was before Jesus' ascension. And he was, he was praying, talking to the Father about those whom the Father has committed to him, his disciples. He said, even as I am not of this world. Friends, we are living in this world, but we are not of this world. That is why you don't live your life by the lifestyle of the people of this world. You don't watch somebody's way of life on television that does not glorify God and you want to, dis and you want to live in that manner. You should not emulate them. We are in the world, but we are not of this world. Verse 17. Hallelujah. John 17, 17. He says, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is true. I want us to look at the New Living Translation of the word sanctify. To sanctify means to be set apart, to consecrate, to look different. He said, make them holy by your fruit. Teach them your word, which is truth, child of God. To sanctify is to be holy, is to be consecrated, is to be set apart, is to look different. So how does God make it when God wants you to look different? When God wants you to look special? When God wants you not to look like others look? He gives you His word. 2022, if you desire to be different, 2022, if you desire to be different, what will make you different and make you special in this world that we live in is the word of God. Take hold of the word and see what God will make out of your life. If you desire to be different, you desire to be special, you desire to look different this year, give attention to the word of God. Deuteronomy 8, verse 1 to 4. Li kapa shatala bababa. Me toko zakala nabahitaba. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 8, verse 1 to 4. Le kandi nabaha. Look at this. And all the commandments which I commanded this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your father. Verse 2, we're going to 4. And thou shalt remember all the ways of the Lord thy God, all the ways that the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness, to humble thee and to prove thee. Sometimes God allow you to go through certain things so that you can learn humility. To prove thee and to know that that was in thy heart whether thou wouldn't keep his commandment or not. That is why, friends, child of God, when we go through certain things as Christians, they are the trials of our faith. They are the test of our faith. That is why those who preach and say, when you are born again, no challenges, no trial. It's a life from the pit of hell. The trials will come. The challenges will come to test your faith. If you are serving God for what you are getting from Him, or you are serving God because you truly love Him, child of God. There are promises and prophecies over your head. It doesn't mean God is a liar. It looks like they are not coming to pass. Oh, so that's why you are with God. You are with God because of those prophecies and prom or promises. No, you are with God because He is God. Look at verse 3 of Deuteronomy chapter 8. Hallelujah. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna which thou knewest not either, which thou knewest not, neither did thy father know that he might make thee know that man does not, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, of the Lord does man live. Look at verse 4. Thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swear these 40 years by the word of God. Can you imagine 40 years, a boy who was 7 years old that wore his shoe at his age 7, that shoe was growing on his foot until he was 47. God is too much. The dresses on their body, that's what the Bible is saying. The raiment on their body. Please look at the New Living Transla uh, Translation. Deuteronomy 8 verse 4. The clothes on their body were growing with their body. What makes you think God will mismanage your destiny? Your life is too small for God to mismanage you. 
Rest in the harm of God. Child of God, I will soon begin to round up. I'm going to continue. You can see I can't finish this. I have six, seven other keys to show you. For all these 40 years, your clothes did not wear out. Their clothes didn't get old. And your feet didn't blist or swell. For 40 years, why are you doubting God? Why are you wondering, can God make it possible? I don't have this, I don't have that. Why? And all this was possible by the word out of the mouth of God. Child of God, write this down before we begin to pray. Whatever you do, whatever you act on, is only going to work because you are acting and living by the word of God. What will make you unique from the world, what will make you astounding in 2022 is the word of God. Factors to grow in uncommon grace. See, number one, salvation, you have to be saved. Number two, give attention to the word of God. Second Peter 1, verse 3, and we begin to pray. Second Peter, verse 1 to 3. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God. Through the knowledge of God. Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. You want to multiply in grace? You want to grow in grace? You want to swim in uncommon grace? Friends, give attention to the word and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Get to know Jesus more. Yes, you are born again. Yes, you have Jesus in your life as your Lord and your personal Savior, but it's not enough. Study the word. That is key number two, to grow in grace and multiply in uncommon grace. There are six other keys we are going to continue next Sunday. Lift up your hands. Say, my father, my maker, as you have declared, I decree and I declare, 2022 is my year of uncommon grace. Clap your hands and turn it to prayer. Child of God, you believe the word of God. Open your mouth and pray. Leba tora katata lukra da 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 bayada na sukle kete lekredia mashoka tete kanda yakuya masakonde lekede lekra ta totoza gadidi gaduni ma andia lezugrediniwa mashokrotia makote lekedi anta meka toto legedia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ woman you are watching me your problem is the womb. You are believing God for a child, but you are not barren because you have a child. But that child is over 10 years old. And since then, you've not been able to conceive again. Get in touch with us. The Lord is touching your womb right now. He sent his word. And the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. You desire to have another child. Therefore, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ in your home because you are married. In Jesus' mighty name. Open your hand. Say, my father, my maker. I decree and I declare every verdict from the coven of the wicked against me, against my children, this year, 2022, let it backfire. It shall not prosper. Every verdict against me, against my children, from the coven of the wicked, this year, it shall not prosper. Let it backfire. Clap your hands and turn it to prayer. Every evil verdict that is positioned against you, from the court of the wicked, frustrate it, frustrate it, frustrate it. Le karaka tole beko shikataya, masaka tele benya, na sakra tote liya. E koto le bene moko shitia, makato tele baya. E kate le bodoya, rakatonda la kajugre dia, makanto lipi wahasakra dia. Le sekete tele ya, ragote ne mi wahabonde liya. God is touching you, daughter of Zion. Every man who comes to you, just leave. For no, for the slightest, smallest reason. Even the one that is with you that you are afraid. You did something wrong. You went to a place you shouldn't have gone to. Please, I wouldn't mention it, but get in touch with us. You went to consult a witch doctor. So that this one will not leave. 
it will not stop him from living it is god that will help you there is a, a limitation of the wicked over your family that they do not stay a protoni atulikana azukridi and you are asking god for intervention me kazulia you're a businesswoman daughter of zion the lord is intervening in your matter right now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god hallelujah say my father my god second to the last prayer i receive grace to hear your word and to give attention to your word to do your word hallelujah that's what makes you wise hearing alone is a blessing of course but it's not enough you must go beyond hearing and giving attention to the word and doing the word open your hand therefore you want to look different this year you want to look unique this year in the midst of all the challenges and stand when others are falling you need the grace to hear and do the word of god say my father my helper i receive grace to hear your word and give attention to your word and do your word apply your word in my life in the name of jesus christ clap your hands and turn into prayer Makoto le pradia, roko te kezi, rakashuka te lepaya, nasa kakoko te ligra, nanto le gredi, masukra de dea, makatoto gazaka dagato lopra, nante le pridia, in Jesus' mighty name. Open your hands. I don't know what you do for a living, but I like to let you know, child of God, when the grace of God marry the works of your hand, uncommon result becomes your portion therefore we decree and declare say my father my god i prophesy i decree uncommon grace upon the works of my hand clap your hands and begin to mention the works of your hand you're a businessman businesswoman mention what you do you're a student hallelujah decree uncommon grace upon your academics you're a minister of god you're a career person prophesy uncommon grace where you walk open your mouth and begin to pray Makatola Gadagaza, Mekroto le Gredia, Mashukla Tetelia, Mason Teteketia, Makaton Telia, Neketia, Makosa Katondea, Makando le Gredidiwa, Masokro Dele, La Juca da Banda la Catule Gradilicra, in Jesus' mighty name. You used to suffer from severe asthmatic attack. But you got delivered several years ago. But recently, you've been having strange difficulty in breathing. Child of God, the devil is a liar. Be healed right now. That affliction is cursed. I cause your lungs to be cleared, your chest to be cleared. Be healed and be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I prophesy everything about you this year is moving forward by grace. Everything about you this year is moving forward by grace. Spiritually, materially, financially, move forward by grace in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy walk in uncommon grace. Live in uncommon grace. What we cut others short will not find you. What we destroy others will not find you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of the living God. You have any sickness in your body, lay your hands where that sickness, where that sickness is. If not, just lay your hands on your body. In the name of Jesus, I release healing on your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be healed and be made whole. Once again, if you have not given your heart to Jesus, ask Jesus into your life. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my heart to you. Hallelujah. If you've prayed that prayer, you are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Congratulations, child of God. I encourage you to keep following and keep sharing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God be with you. I see you next Sunday. God bless you. We thank you for watching this broadcast. We believe it has blessed you. If you have testimonies or praise reports, you can send them to plus two seven eight four five three seven eight seven two four. And if you have been blessed by this message, you can be a blessing to the ministry. Account details are as follows: six two one one three nine zero four one four nine. First National Bank God would 
bless you and your testimonies will remain. Amen.